It's both of them to contain grapefruits and bicycles. Each basket of grapefruits requires one hour of labor, and each uh, bicycle requires eight hours of labor. Labor. The country has a total of 8,000 labor hours per week. If G is the quantity of grapefruit produced and B is the quantity of bicycles produced, which of the following equations is an accurate representation of the PPF? So, let's think of it logically. They have 8,000 labor hours. Right? In those 8,000 hours, they can either produce G, which is grapefruits, or they can produce bicycles, right? If they produce G, each production of G costs one hour. Each bicycle costs us how many hours? Eight. Think of this as budget line and quantity and prices, right? That's all there is to it. The PPM is pretty much that. Uh, so, uh, for 8,000 hours, I can either produce grapefruits or bicycles. Grapefruits save me one hour, bicycles save me eight hours. From this equation, we can solve for G with one B and see which one fits. Let's solve for G. What becomes G equals 8,000 minus uh, 8B. Well, first of all, let's comment on the fact that this would not happen. Right, we know that the slope is negative, so that would not be it. Uh, all right, so we have g equals 8,000 minus 8b. That's not right. So it's one of those two. Um, these two solve for b. So if I solve for b, I have 8b equals 8,000 minus g. Divide both sides by 8. I get b equals, equals 1,000 minus one-eighth of a G. That will be D. Okay? Or if you want to think of this as, uh, in terms of the, of the graph, this is the PPF. That should be a straight line. So if I put G here and B there, this would be the intercept, right? This is all my, all my hours spent on G. And how many G's can I get? 8,000. And this, this, uh, right. And what is, if I spent all of them on B? One thousand. Alright, so what's the slope? Eight. So the intercept is eight thousand and the slope is eight, but the slope is actually negative eight, right? Because of the downward slope. So neither of these neither of these works if I put G on the y-axis, right? On the other hand, if I want to see those work and I put B on the y-axis, the intercept is a thousand, right? Because we spent all of your on B, I get a thousand, this is eight thousand. What's the slope? Negative one over eight. So if B is on the y-axis, then I'm gonna have an intercept of a thousand, which I do, and a slope of negative one eight, which is the same. Either way, it would 